Hello students, I hope you watched my video on caring for our soil. Now we are move, moving on to caring for our air. Okay, before we go into the MCQs, let us see the important points that we need to remember. Come on, get up. See the technical methods to control air pollution. In this, we have electrostatic precipitator, cyclone separator, wet scrubber, bag filter and fluid bed boilers. So these are the five things. How to remember them? You may get confused. So I have put it in the form of a tabular column. When we tabulate this, we know the principles and the uses very clearly. The first one uses high voltage electrodes. So there are two electrodes. Actually, if you watch my video on the lesson, you have all the pictures of all these things very beautifully explained. Okay. Yeah. So you can just refer to that and then come back to this high voltage electrodes through which the contaminated gases and the wastes, wastes are coming through and what happens is both the dry and the wet particles are trapped and they are ionized and then leaving only the uh, <coughs> safe particles, safe gases into the atmosphere. This is used in thermal power plants and it removes 90% of the ash, fly ash. Next we go to cyclone separator. Cyclone separator just swirls like this. And what is the principle? It is rotating. Okay. And what is it? When you when it rotates, the larger particles being under the effect of gravity, gravitational pull, it just settles down. Okay. So that's what is happening here. So it's very useful for large particles, but small particles will escape. Now next we go to wet scrubber. See, sometimes you have so many acidic gases that can cause global warming, that can cause acid rain. And for that, what we do is we spray a lot of water and also chemicals and they start reacting with the gases and all the acidic gases are removed. And the advantage of this is usually in the chemical industries, it will be involving a lot of high temperatures and those high temperatures also it can handle, means it is good to face that. Next is bag filter. From the word, like we have vacuum cleaners, you have filters in that which we periodically remove and you have all the dust particles, fine dust particles that are there and this also has filters like that and there are mesh like things which will trap all the smaller particles. So whatever escapes through the um, cyclone separator cannot escape through this bag filters. Okay, it's very famous for smaller particles like usually you have these cement industries which have small particles that will not settle down pharmaceutical plants offer all those we can make use of this bag filters next we have fluid bed boilers okay this is combust combustible and this usually has a turbulent mixing what do you mean by turbulence turbulence means something that is very 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 bad mixing violent mixing okay and gases and solids are mixed together and this happens in thermal power plants and its efficiency is very high okay now next we go to penalties and subsidies see when the vehicles are on the rise population is on the rise then we have to control them in some way Sometimes what do you do? If somebody does a good thing, you will give them a chocolate. That's a subsidy. And if they continuously do something bad, what do you do? You will give them a punishment. That's the penalty. Okay. So penalties are there to control and monitor and regulate. Okay. The emissions and the air pollution. At the same time, you have subsidies for other things like supposing you invent or you bring out a model of a vehicle that will have very less emissions, definitely subsidies will be there. And when you buy such things, you get subsidies. All right, next is bubble theory. This bubble from the word bubble, don't be misled. It's like a the all the emissions from one plant or one industry is completely coming under the umbrella of a bubble. So that is multiple emissions coming down into the bubble that's what the bubble theory is about and technical hybrid tech, hybrid vehicles what do you mean by the word hybrid that means it's not pure okay so what happens usually if two or more power sources are combined together for example if you take uh, toyota prius what happens there is electrically it can be operated because see the battery has to start get started and after that it is powered by diesel or petrol so two things are combining together then that's a hybrid vehicle. 
and we can also have combinations of CNG or biodiesel or so many things can be possible. Next is traffic management. Okay, the best role model is Curitiba. This is a city in Brazil. Okay, and by far, actually, they started planning this in 1965. Can you imagine? Until now, the population has increased so much, but still, they don't find any problem on the transport. And it's the best role model for public transport. So integrated and so planned. Okay, and it has five arterial roads. And it's still maintaining those five arterial roads. It also has bi-articulated buses, which can, which is the largest in the world, which can actually carry or transport 270 passengers at a time. Okay, so that's the largest. So these are the things, main points that you need to remember. Now let's move on to the MCQs based on these things. Coming to the MCQs, the first one, control devices, what do they do? Control devices to control air pollution, isn't it? So what do they do? Do they increase oxygen levels? No. Do they destroy or remove pollutants before exhaust air is let out? Yes. Controls thermal power plants? Maybe some of the devices, but not all. So the best option is B, that is destroys or removes the pollutants before it is let out okay the control device that works on rotation effect and gravity we saw some of the things isn't it we saw the cyclone separator with scrubber everything and the principle behind it and gravity and rotation which one will be keeping on rotating will a filter rotate no what all are given here bag filter it will not rotate a wet scrubber it's only going to scrub no it is not going to rotate so the cyclone separator is the one so that is the correct answer Next, bag filters are used to remove lighter particles or heavy dust particles or gaseous emissions. Which are they going to remove? It is a filter, come on. Can it filter gases? Not possible. So this is omitted. Next, you have lighter particles and heavy dust particles. Heavy dust particles usually go through the first stage, there itself they are removed. So these are specifically used for removal of lighter particles. So that's the answer. The device mainly used for toxic acidic gases. So how to remove toxic acidic gases? Very specifically and at higher temperatures. Is it electrostatic precipitators or is it wet scrubber or is it bag filter? Wet scrubber is specifically used for acidic gases, removal of acidic gases. Okay, Induced electrostatic charge is used to trap unwanted particles. What are the devices? Which is the device? Is it wet scrubber? Is it cyclone separator? It is, is it electrostatic precipitator? If you don't know, if you are confused, what is the word here? Electrostatic. What is the word here? Electrostatic. So it should be electrostatic precipitator. Done. Next question. Bubble theory is a strategy. Strategy means method to reduce what? What is it going to reduce? Air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution. What is this theory about? Basically, very importantly, it is only for air pollution. Bubble. Bubble is filled with what? Air. Remember like that. So then it is air pollution. The bubble in bubble theory, what does it mean? Okay. Is it bubbles of gases in the atmosphere? So gases will have will be there throughout in the atmosphere. Multiple em em emissions imagined to be enclosed in a bubble or bubbles of gases in marshy land. From marshy land bubbles will come. Is that the one? No. So what is the correct option? Multiple emissions imagined to be enclosed in a bubble. That is the correct answer. Next, a vehicle that uses two or more distinct power sources. So it is, what is it called? Is it an express vehicle? No. Is it a slow vehicle? No. It is a hybrid vehicle. Hybrid vehicles only have a mixture of two or more power sources combined together. Next, fuel used in oil seed producing states. See, now we are finding different options, alternate fuels, okay, in the place of petrol or diesel. Why? Because they are non-renewable. So we want to find renewable sources. This is one of the renewable sources. So they are trying to find fuel from oil seeds, okay, and this is called as biodiesel, okay. Then Curitiba, 
what is it famous for it is fam is it famous for subways is it famous for metros or is it famous for public transport buses the very word curitiba you should remember it is for public transport and it is on the road not rail nor metro but it is on the road so it is buses oxy hydrogen methane and methanol these are all alternate fuels now come on these are are they high speed fuels low polluting fuels or polluting fuels when we find something alternate fuels do you think we will find or will uh, discover something high high polluting fuels we wouldn't definitely need do that isn't it we want to reduce pollution so polluting fuels is ruled out then we have high speed and low polluting which one would be correct now high speed usually what happens you know these alternate fuels they do not have enough speed okay so this is not correct so the option b of low polluting fuels is the correct answer the largest buses in the world are is it feeder buses yeah feeder buses are also present in curitiba but they connect from the villages to the main stream express buses they will be running in the main arterial roads but they aren't big enough by articulate buses yes they are because they are combined together two three compartments together to be able to ferry about 270 passengers at one shot okay so the largest buses in the world are called by articulated buses the last one a role model for traffic man management okay is which is the role model which city has this role model planning it is is it curitiba in brazil is it bikaner in india or is it cairo in egypt which is the option what are we learning about we are learning about curitiba in brazil so that is the correct answer okay so this is how we crack some of the mcqs if you like it you can don't forget to like share and subscribe and please do wait to watch the next video on the same chapter bye